2023 has been the year of AI, and I'm sure you're probably tired of hearing about it, but have you heard from it? Today I'm gonna to show you how to access the new voice chat in the ChatGPT app. What would you like to talk about? OpenAI recently did a slow rollout of new voice chat features in the ChatGPT app. You must have a ChatGPT Plus subscription to enable these features. ChatGPT Plus currently costs $19.99 a month. Make sure the app is updated before checking and then open the app and you'll find that the default AI model will be set to GPT-3.5, which is OpenAI's free and fastest model. Select GPT-4 on the right and you will see the default option, the browse with Bing option, and the Dolly option. Browse with Bing and Dolly currently only work in the text to chat window. To start a voice conversation, click on the blue headset icon and allow live activities from ChatGPT. You will see a simple animation and the app will let you know when to start speaking. Now you are in chat mode and you can have an open-ended back and forth conversation with the AI. I'm just a program, so I don't have feelings. But thanks for asking, how are you doing? ChatGPT will often ask a follow-up question to prompt you so that you will respond and keep the conversation going. Interaction and chat time are probably a big data point for OpenAI, so just keep that in mind. I'm good, so can you tell me about some of your new features? Sure. I have better conversational flow and more accurate answers. I can also analyze images now. What would you like to know more about? ChatGPT4 will continue listening in the background, waiting for a prompt, even if your phone screen times out, unless you end the chat. I'm not actively hanging out or conscious like a human, but I'm always available when you access the platform. Whenever you turn your phone back on and interact with me, I'm here to assist. Press the white stop button to stop the AI from answering and press the red circle X button to exit voice conversations. When you exit, you will see a transcript of your chat conversation. All of your chats will be automatically saved in your history if you need to reference them again. Go back into settings to choose your voice. To get to settings, select the list icon on the top left and then the three dot menu on the bottom right hand side of the screen next to your name. There are currently five voices to choose from named after things in nature. Hello. I'm really excited about teaming up with you and I'm all set to dive in. Hi there. I just want to share how thrilled I am to work with you and I can't wait to get started. Hey there. I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. Hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? I'm really looking forward to working on some cool stuff together. I'm ready to hit the ground running. So if there's anything you'd like me to focus on first, just let me know. I don't actually like any of them, but I'm gonna choose Juniper for this demo. Click confirm and then choose the main language if needed. Now I've used ChatGPT mostly for cooking and I think that this new chat feature will help a great deal in the kitchen when my hands are full. Kind of like a Chef Tony Stark. It helped me cook a tri-tip for my family and a very nice salmon dinner, which were both delicious. So let's see if ChatGPT can walk me through a simple recipe for a chicken dish. Chef Stark, fire that chicken. Here's a simple recipe for chicken breast tenders. Ingredients, chicken breast tenders, about one pound, one cup of all-purpose flour, two large eggs beaten, one and a half cups of breadcrumbs or panko, salt and pepper to taste, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, cooking oil for frying. How do I prep the chicken again? First, season the chicken tenders with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Two, place the flour, beaten eggs, and breadcrumbs in three separate shallow dishes. Three, heat the oil in a large skillet over medium-high heat. Four, dredge each chicken tender in flour, shaking off the excess. Five, dip it into the beaten eggs, letting any excess drip off. Six, finally coat the chicken tender in breadcrumbs, pressing to adhere. Seven, fry the chicken tenders in batches until golden brown and cook through. About three to four minutes per side. Well, that's just how to use some of the features in ChatGPT's mobile app. If you have any tips or thoughts on AI, leave them in the comments. Subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos like this one, and thanks for watching.